everybody. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you are a, a first time viewer, um, you know, please click that subscribe button, click that little bell notification icon. If you're a return viewer or subscriber, thank you very much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, if you need IT consulting, you can also go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form and somebody will be with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. That's our promise to you. And what we are going to talk about tonight is we are going to talk about radius controlled VLAN. So what is a radius control VLAN? With Unify, the way we're going to use the radius control VLAN is we're going to have one SSID to keep our access point running smooth, to keep the CPU utilization down and give the end users the best experience. Instead of having four or even eight SSIDs, depending on your model, we're going to have one SSID and we are going to assign the network that that user is going to go on based on the user setup within Unify. So for our lab tonight, let me show you what we're working with here. We have a, a USG. We have a we have an 8 port 60 watt switch. We have a cloud key Gen 2 and then we have uh, the mesh AC access point. Now you can see everything is blue. I do have it all pre-adopted uh, so we don't have to worry about that. But let's uh, sneak over into the controller and take a look at the settings. Set this up then we'll join it with my phone and I'll show you that hopping around the different VLANs does indeed um, work based on the user setup. So let's get over to that. Okay, so we are over here in our controller. You can see we've got our USG, our switch, and our AP. Now you can do this in any order that you like, but I am going to do it in an order that makes sense to me. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to services and I am going to enable the radius server. Now my secret, you're really never going to need to know this again. This uh, is just a secret that's used between your, your devices and the radius controller. Mine is Yankee Doodle went to town 76 exclamation point. Never really going to need to know that again. I'm going to click apply there. Then I'm going to come over here to users. Now we are going to name our users uh, the same as their VLAN. We're going to keep things nice and simple. But let's say you have a co-working space and you know one of the companies is renting a um, you know they're renting a dedicated office from you at the co-working space. They want a wired port for a printer, but then they've got like five people. You can create these usernames. You know we only have to have one SSID, which keeps our access points running lean and mean keeps those uh, system uh, resources kind of freed up and you can give them then a wired uh, port in that same VLAN. So, but in this example, what we're going to do is we are going to create just a couple users. We're actually going to call them VLAN 10 and that is also the password and then their v hit this user's VLAN will be VLAN 10. Now our tunnel type is going to be 13, which is going to be a VLAN and then that's going to select the 802 number six medium type. We're going to save that. We're going to create user VLAN 20 and guess what? They're going to be on VLAN 20 and we're going to go ahead and save that. So now our server and our users are good to go. So let's work our way up. So here's our profile tab. We're going to use the default profile. You could create a new one, but we're going to edit the default profile and we are going to enable VLAN, uh, radius assigned VLANs for the wireless and the wired networks. We will do wired in another video. This is just how to get the wireless up and going. So we're going to save that. Now we're going to come up here to networks and we are going to create uh, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Now we are going to make these guest networks because we don't want them getting uh, into other people's networks and we don't want other people getting into this network. You know, this is a, a private network in our little co-working space here. So I'm going to make these both guests. And I'm just making them small. You can see they're going to have about five usable IPs in each. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the wireless network and I'm going to have one wireless network to rule them all. And um, what I'm going to do here 
is I'm going to just create this called lab and I'm going to make this WPA Enterprise and then I am going to select that default profile. Now I could turn uh, guest policies on but I am not going to do that. So now all of my gear should be provisioning and as soon as this gear is done provisioning we will uh, try to connect to it here with the laptop and see if we get an IP address in the proper network. So it'll take just a minute or two for this equipment to provision and we will be right back. Alright so it appears that everything is provisioned so let's go over here and let's find alright so we've got the lab network here so we're going to click on this and we're going to click connect and it should prompt us uh, here in a second to enter some credentials. All right, so it knows that uh, we are supposed to enter a username and password. So I'm going to put in VLAN 10 and VLAN 10 and click OK. And it says uh, continue connecting. If you expect to find lab in this location, go ahead and connect. And uh, we're going to go ahead and click connect. The, some uh, security stuff happening kind of in the, in the background there. Now, of course, we won't get Internet access with with this but uh, let's uh, pop it open here and see if we have uh, let's see if we've got an IP let's see here wireless LAN you can see that we've got a 192.168.10 uh, address right here 192.168.10.2 with a 255, 255, 255, 248 subnet mask, so VLAN 10 is definitely working. It's it's upset. Windows gets upset when you um, you, when you can't get out to the internet. So we're gonna disconnect now. I don't know if I'm gonna have to forget this network and do this again. So we're gonna try to connect and click connect. It's prompting me now for my credentials. So now we did VLAN 20, VLAN 20. Yes, we're gonna connect. It's going to take a minute. Like I said, it could be, you know, there's some security things going on in the back end, but Windows is never happy when it can't call home. When it can't call the mothership, Windows is is always uh, upset. So let's see if we got an IP. We'll go down to our wireless connection. Doesn't look like it's giving us... Oh, yep, there it is. So you can see we got 192.168.20. Dot two with a 255, 255, 255, 248 subnet mask. And you can see that it is working. Windows is not happy. You can see you've got no internet. That's fine. But uh, it's, it's pretty simple to get these up and going. All right, so that is it for this video. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you do need that IT consulting, you can go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and somebody will be with you as soon as possible. Like I said, if we can't help you, we'll get you to somebody who can. That's our promise to you. If you'd like to uh, support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon, and thank you to those folks, that link is down below. All of our Amazon affiliate links are down below and all of our other affiliate links, and they don't change your price, but they do kick a couple bucks over to the channel, and I'll leave uh, links to all the gear that we used uh, for this lab so that you can check that out. Once again, I am Willie. Thank you for being here, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.